How are you doing? Meteorologist Paul Diano with a special Western Washington weather webcast for January 11th. We have a strong area of low pressure on the way, and those of you who have been watching the weather over the past couple of days, you fully know that we have been talking about the possibility of a significant snowstorm heading to Western Washington Monday morning, and now it looks less and less likely that significant snowfall will come to the greater Seattle area. Let me explain why. A couple days ago, all the forecast models had this area of low pressure and a tremendous tremendous amount of Pacific moisture making landfall to our south. And that is key because cold air is entrenched over top of western Washington. If the low stayed to the south, the warm sector of the storm also stayed to our south. And all of the moisture would ride over top of the cold air, which likes to sink to the bottom down to the surface. And we would have a classic snowmaking system. And with the uh, amount of precipitation falling from the sky that we were looking at. We were looking at likely more than a foot of snow in Seattle, in Everett, and in Tacoma uh, beginning Wednesday morning and lasting for several days. That was this scenario, which many of the forecast models thought would happen uh, until about yesterday when we saw a sea change. Not that much, only a move of about 300 miles or so, but that's enough now with all the forecast models that I've looked at this morning having the low-pressure area make landfall to our north, which means now we're in the warm sector of the storm to the south of the warm front. This is a toasty section of the storm, so we get the moisture, but now we also get the warm air. So things will start off as snow, but quickly change over to rainfall under this scenario, which may still change, but as we get closer to the actual event, it is less and less likely that we're looking at a widespread major snow event for Seattle. So steady snowfall is likely beginning Tuesday evening. As soon as Tuesday evening, we'll see the snow coming down pretty heavy at times. Look at the accumulation. By just after midnight Wednesday, we'll have two to four inches of snowfall, but changing to all rain by sunrise Wednesday and after a slushy morning commute on Wednesday, likely we're looking at just a big rainstorm with not much widespread flooding, but a lot of rain coming down over the next couple of days. Let me show you. I showed you my graphics. Let me show you what the actual forecast model looks like. There is the low right there. There's western Washington. A landfall down here would mean snow, but up here would mean rainfall. Let's go through time here and look at the low as it moves in, making landfall a couple hundred miles to our north, dragging in that warm southwest influence coming off the ocean. So yes, we get the precipitation. And this forecast model from coolwx.com 2.7 inches of liquid equivalent coming from the sky over the next several days. That's more than two feet of snow if that all fell as snow. But blue is snow, green is rain. At the outset, a little bit of snow to the tune of, oh, let's say about three and a half inches of snowfall, then changing over to rain, and for several days, it is rain and rain only. So, folks, a very, very close call, but right now, our call from Como 4 is that things will start as snow Tuesday evening. You'll get a decent amount of snow. It'll look great outside for several hours before changing over to all rainfall as low pressure, a series of them, will likely pass by just to our north. Keep it tuned to Como 4 and also... This website, comonews.com, for more information as the forecast gets tweaked over the next couple of days. But very likely, a little bit of snow followed by a lot of rain instead of a big snowstorm, which is what we were staring down the barrel of uh, just a couple of days ago. I'm meteorologist Paul Deano for the Como 4 Dub. Make it a great day.